I struggled with drugs and alcohol for 21 years of my adult life. I built this life up. I had some amazing things, like I said, and it was going great until it wasn't going great anymore, right? You ever hear that saying, you're good until you're not good, then you have to figure it out? Well, I was good until I wasn't good, and then I had nothing to figure out besides the fact that I had to come back. Every time I came back and I kept going through this and I kept struggling, I would always come, uh, you know, I would struggle with the drugs and alcohol, but I was able to put it together and build the money and build the business and win in these certain areas of life, but I was never able to kick this certain habit. And it wasn't until I actually changed my belief pattern, right? What I want to do today is actually share with you a little bit of information. Let me help you maybe change the pattern like somebody did for me years ago. Everything in your mind right now might be telling you, I've got to quit. It's got to be over. The, draw, it's, it's, the problems are going to be fixed. If I could just eliminate the alcohol, but the truth is it's, it's not the drugs. It's not the alcohol. It's you. And that's the straight up truth. One of the most sobering facts is you have to accept that it is you, but it's not you in a bad way. It's you because you're choosing to do that because something else is hurting you from underneath. Because what's happening is the drugs and the alcohol are just a byproduct. We're doing it to waste um, these feelings away and these things of, of hurt or the, the day that was rough because your job didn't go the way that you wanted it to go or you got home and the relationship with your wife wasn't the perfect way. So you wanna hide in your man cave and get away from these people. But even when we go even deeper level, it probably boils down to something in your childhood or something from before. See, I was able to pinpoint it all the way down to a certain moment in my life that I can remember back where I felt this pain, I felt this despair of being abandoned, being alone, and all of a sudden having no father there because he took off with my brother. I had no choice at 14 years old to be figuring out how to survive and what to do. And guess what happens when you do that? I chose to drink, I chose to start using drugs. I want you to ask yourself that question right now. What is holding me back? What is making me drink? Why is this byproduct of drinking too much or using too much drugs or even use drugs at all or even, even the, the using the alcohol at all, why is am I doing this? Like, like what is the actual core reason? Because every day when you keep thinking that it is just drinking, it is just the drugs and that's your problem, you're just, that's surface level. You know, one of the other beliefs that I had to get over was, you know, because I had seven relapses. When I call a major, I say six, seven, eight, nine months of time I'd put together. I'd almost make that year point and I couldn't make it. Something would pop, right? I'd get a new girlfriend and something, next thing you know, I'm trying to impress her by freaking getting in fights at the bar or whatever. So what I'm saying is, I had to realize that anybody can quit, no matter how severe or how deep or how long you've been doing it, that anybody could do this. Because you weren't always using drugs and alcohol. Do you remember back, into the time, back to the time when you were a little boy, and you were like, man, I want to be a fireman, or I wanted to be a, you know, all these dreams you had. For me, it was I wanted to be a bricklayer. Furthest thing from what I do now, but I really wanted to be a bricklayer because it, to me, it was hard work. I'm like, oh, this is what a man does, and this is work, and I wanted to do it, and it was super cool. But my point is, I want you to think about who you were, because anybody has the ability to quit. So often we start realizing that our life isn't what it was before and we're looking at it for what it is right now. We start getting in our own minds thinking, like I'm over here thinking, man, I can't quit. I don't deserve it. Mark can do it, meaning me, I can do it, but I'm no different than you. So one of the first things you've got to do is remember back to who you were and why you need to stop making these self-limiting beliefs for why you're doing this now or who you've become or, or whatever problem has caused you to get to this point, that if I can do it, and Billy Bob down the road can do it. And let's be honest, millions of people do it each year that you can do it as well. It sounds surface level, I can think that, this guy's bullshit, right, ever? No, you've got to truly believe it. One of my things that kept me from really truly quitting and getting this absent or changing the relationship like you might want to do with your alcohol or your drugs is the fact that I thought I had to give up everything in my life that I knew, my friends, my, the places I hung out, all these different things. And here, to a point, to an extent, right? If you're, I like to say this, if you swim with shit, you probably are shit, right? So if you're putting yourself in a shitty situation, then yes, you need to definitely back out of it. You don't have to change the social circle. You don't have to change the network that you're with, but you have to look at them. Because actually what happens is, when you start digging deeper and you look at those same guys that helped you, most likely they're gonna be there and they're gonna encourage you. People like to see people win. See, they knew, and they know probably like, like you're, you're, the, you're in denial, they know that you have a problem, just like they knew that I had a problem. But nobody wanted to say anything, because let's be honest, when you're winning and you're the guy that's paying for everything, your problem can be overlooked, right? But it's not a fault that your friends have. It's the fact that yes, they probably want to you know, 
clasp onto the work you've done and clasp onto who you are because you're a good person, you're a good man, you're a leader, you're fun, you're charismatic, you have every skill set uh, that, that they might not have that they wish they could have. So they want to live vicariously through you. But the minute you start switching that, those people that loved you, remember we're talking back to, about love, those people that loved you and cared for you will still be there. Even if that network goes down and it becomes one, two, three, maybe five people, you don't have to change them. You have to get to the core of the people that actually care about you. And those are just a couple tips, right? Those are just a couple things that I know that changed my life. They completely awoke me to the fact that this journey to sobriety, or you're not sure that you fully want to quit, or you just want to test the waters, it's time to actually figure out how to live life on your terms. You don't go looking for things like this unless you have something inside. That voice that's inside of you, that's telling you, hey man, you might be pushing a little bit too much. And that voice could actually be external. It could be your wife, right? Could be the fact that you got three beautiful kids at home and you need to uh, you need to do what's right for them. Could be them saying, "Daddy, Daddy, Daddy," but you can't hear them because your mind is so clouded. So what I want to do for you, real quick, is actually just offer you an opportunity. Every month, I work with only 12 people, a core 12 people who are taking territory every day. They're taking back their lives. They're eliminating the problems. They're fixing the things that are holding them back, creating more financial wealth for themselves, starting new businesses. You remove the money. You remove the thought. You remove the labels that society put on you. You remove everything. Inside your mind, you know who you want to be. It may be clouded, it may be jaded, but right now inside, you know who you want to be. I want to help you find that person. So I want you to do real quick here, if you have any interest at all and you want to be one of these 12 people and you want to take back the territory, I want you to go ahead and just click this link. It's going to give you an application. So if you stayed with me this far and you're still here, I've been talking to you. The time is now. Fill this application out. Let me personally look at it. I'll schedule a call with you. Let's take back some territory.